Hello and welcome back to the Mobius Archives. This is your host, Mobius Rex, and we are playing Minecraft Feed the Beast Unleashed. Welcome back to our second episode of this second season. Uh, and I'm just looking to see what time it is. I think it's near... Ah, oh, damn, it's near sunset. Okay. Well, one of the things I wanted to get started today... We might as well run around in the dark. I have enough torches. Um is to get our smeltery started. Now, one of the things we're, we need to look at is, uh, materials new. I have everything we need set up here uh, for the smeltery, but we're not gonna build it in this location. We're gonna build it out by the volcano because, well, the smeltery itself needs uh, lava to operate. And what better place for lava than a volcano, uh, especially on the surface? Now, it doesn't chew, out, chew through too much lava, but uh, it's enough that uh, we can get away with putting it at the base of this volcano. Plus, it also looks cool. Uh, so we'll just head over here, get a little base set up somewhere mid-range... Uh, Ooh, don't crash. Mid-range top. I haven't finished investigating all the uh, caves beneath uh, my original base. Here's here's a good place. That looks good. The nice thing about the volcano area is that there is a lot of sunlight. Uh, or a lot of sunlight. A lot of light. Which means a lot of the area doesn't need to be uh, protected with torches. But this plateau area up here seems to be the most reasonable place to be uh, to set up our smeltery. So let's get started. One second, just going to move my mic a bit. It seems to be out of place. Okay, hopefully that works better. Okay. Now, let's see. For our base, we need nine bricks. We're just going to put it here. Two, three, one, two, Nine. There we go. Nine. I'm um, going to use dirt as the second level base. Uh, mostly because I don't have... I didn't want to put the sunken again. I wanted to have the first level raised a bit. But the first level also needs to be uh, outside this, this uh, bit here. And the outside of the this base level, um, everything needs to be in a five by five square as opposed to three by three. Now, we only need the four corner bricks for the smeltery. One, two, three, four. Uh, we need a smeltery controller, which is like that. We've done all this before. There we go, smeltery controller. Now we need a lava tank, which is very much the same. I think they actually changed this recipe slightly. I Actually, no, I probably did need glass in there. Never mind. Never mind. Bang. Lava tank. Now, I want a window inside there, and actually... Do I have... A, uh, maybe I didn't do this right. Actually, yeah, I think I did. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. Four windows, because I want one in either, th either side, and... Was that a mob? I thought I heard a mob. There we go. Four windows... Let's just look around, just make sure we're still safe. Okay, so not the lava area isn't quite as safe as I wanted. We have some skeletons over there, some creepers, but we'll continue in, continue on since we don't have uh, shears yet uh, to make uh, to make a bed to make to get wool out of sheep, which I found some down that way. Um, and what else do we need? So. Uh, so we've got the front side set up. Now we want these sides. Now these sides are going to be pretty useful to have drains on them. So I'm just going to make a whole bunch of drains. Uh, like that. Oops. Oh, damn it. There we go. Six drains. I'm getting used to this uh, new control scheme. Uh, although placement is a bit... Not exact right now for me, but we'll figure it out eventually. 
six drains. Now, that's all you need to get the... Damn it. I forgot. You need lava, so you need a bucket. And so if you haven't had a bucket yet, if I haven't found one, can I make a bucket any other way? Let's just... Oops, sorry about that. Let's just check that out. Okay, so those are all our particular buckets. And what's this new? Molten Alamite Bucket. Huh. And an upside down bucket, that's weird. Energized Glowstone. Okay, there's some stuff here that I'm not sure entirely where it's coming from. So I'm just clicking on the stuff at random now. Okay, and I don't know of any other way to fill that without having a bucket, so we're going to have to smelt a few pieces of iron. I was hoping to get away from that, or rather avoid that need, but uh, that's, that's what we'll need. Okay, first, let's just... Um, how do we do this? So... Click that. That, that. No. Uh, Alright, instead of derping around, let's just do stuff that we know can work. Almost. Almost got it right. So, six seared faucets. For these drains. Can I place it? Yeah. Uh, there. There. Two more. Uh, got that one wrong. But that's okay. So this is just going to be our starter smeltery. We can update it later as we need. And let's see, I want to put that. Just one casting table for now, uh, so that we can smelt up all our iron. And yeah, so we're going to have to run back to our base and make sure we have a sword out. Uh, because it's dark and dangerous. And just take the boat over. I thought that was something red in the water. Nope, it's just a swimming pig. And we've got that. We've actually got a little cave down here. Gonna slow down. Oh, that's not a cave. That's just water. Uh, anyway, we'll just run from here to our base. There is a cave nearby that I saw. I stuck my head in. Uh, but I didn't light up and there's three creepers right next to me. Uh, they're all after me. Hopefully they'll ignore me soon. Creeper there. Creeper there. Run. Ha. Ha. Okay, so there's a creeper just outside the door. There's a zombie there as well. The zombie will knock down the door. Ooh, we're gonna have to do this. Oh, and it's... Oh, yeah. uh, this isn't good, this isn't good. <laughs> isn't good. Uh, we survived that. Zombies are dangerous. No, creepers are dangerous. Zombies are annoying. I'm going to have to find a way to protect us a little bit better. Uh, almost lost everything here. Ah... Uh, Okay, what was I saying? Oh, I needed to smelt some iron, so I put all my ores here. So one, two, three. We need a bucket, so we can grab some lava. Uh, how much can that smelt? Don't need the dead wood itself. Put it oh, go away! I need some type of knockback on these swords, because those guys seem to get closer than I can actually swing at them. So that's one. Yeah, I only smelted one. Uh, not finding the dead were particularly useful. Might be able to turn it into uh, charcoal, but then I'll just be deforesting the entire dead wood uh, forest around me. Alright, so we have a bucket. And that gives us, well, a bucket. There's also this spoils bag, which I had actually found after killing some enemies. So why don't we take a look at it? Oh, dear me. That's nice. Got some coffer, sapphire, steel sword. I'll use that. The steel's hard to come by. 
Respiration 1 in chat, that's for your helmet, so you can breathe underwater a bit better. And then Logic Matrix Program, that is awesome. I like that. I don't know what I killed to get that. I think it was just some regular mobs, they just spawned the bloody thing. Um, I need to put that somewhere else. And put that there. Put copper in here. Because copper is, well, copper. Can I turn that into a bucket? I wonder. No. Copper's copper. And very useful. And I misplaced it. And the logic matrix programmer, I'll also put there. Okay. So, getting close to dawn. We have our bucket. We can fuel that up. And we want... Hmm. We need... Zombies. Uh, so if I take a look at Muddy Smelting, to make a cast, eh, interesting, they've updated this since last time. What was that? I thought I saw something I hadn't seen before. Oh hey, they've got the brown, brownstone recipe and clear glass. Oh, that's awesome. I like this. So you could have molten glass now and make clear glass, which I'm assuming won't have the white streaks in it. That's fantastic. Okay, um, what else do we have here? I'm sure it has more text that I'm not reading to you guys right now. Um, seared stone. What do I need seared stone for? Is it just a decorative piece? Or is it something more? Let's see. Uh, decorative, it looks like. Yeah, it's a decorative piece, not used for much of anything else. Cool. We might use that to um, improve the look of our smeltery. Um, not planning on moving too much here. So just getting... I just want to take some materials to our smeltery. The copper... I can only have one tin for our... Aluminum brass. We need... Oh, we have three aluminum, one copper. So what do we have in here? Oh, copper, two aluminum. Um, damn it. <laughs> need three aluminum. Oh, we're just going to have to... We'll have to work with it. Uh, so we're going to need an aluminum brass ingot. Um, I wonder. Oh, I didn't want to do that. That was a mistake. Um, I don't suppose... Let me just check uh, the stencils that we have. I don't think we can do this. What I'm looking for right now is to see if we can make an ingot pattern with um, these wood... No, that's a sign. We can't make an ingot pattern with the wood. Maybe we can pour aluminum brass ingot on there. We'll see. We'll see what we can do um, now that we can get lava. Okay, so there's a cave down here. That's not the one I was looking at. I fell in one not too long ago, and it's around here somewhere. Oh, I'll have to figure that out. Oh, there it is. It was behind that water. So here, if you see down there, there's definitely uh, some ore berries. So I'm going to want to investigate that, collect the ore berries. Um, not killed. Ow. Actually, I wonder if I can recover. Maybe I can recover that steel somehow. Maybe smelt up the sword. Um, find out. So, I might also investigate the, the I think it's uh, equivalent exchange in shards of minium, and make some type of um, alchemical um, house to use for that stuff. Alright, let's get back to our smeltery station, and just get some stuff made up. Did not 
get enough aluminum for my particular wants, but we do have a bucket. And that bucket is going to serve to get us our first lava. There we go, lava. And we were lucky that pool was really close. There we go, some lava. And we want to toss in, let's see. So it's one copper to three aluminum. And hopefully that's going to make us our blank cast. Which is, where did I put that table? There it is. And that will be our first, uh, our first little bit of smeltering, so we can get some ingots out of that. Not that we need ingots particularly much, except what I want is to get um, shears. I don't think you can make shears using uh, the patterns we have. So we have molten aluminum, and this copper hasn't melted yet. Just give it a second. And I want to make up. I don't have particularly. Uh, particularly too much wood. But. I want to see about making a stencil table here. Because I need that. How do I make a stencil table? As a part builder. Is it this? Yeah, stencil table. Hopefully that won't burn. Let's put that here, outside. All right, so we have some uh, molten aluminum brass, enough for two ingots, and is that enough for this? Solidify, please. Yes. Okay. I'll put that in the step. Put that there. Yeah. Yeah. The only pattern you can make is ingot cast. I now know that from last time is uh, derping around. Um. Hmm. Okay, so let's just try to empty this. I didn't check how much. Oops. Uh, no, I don't think anything... Uh, there is no alloy that requires copper, aluminum, or iron. So I can't make alamite because I don't have a mis obsidian. So what I'm trying to get from that is... So I'm going to have a bit of waste here. Uh, unfortunately, make a chest just for what we have. I'm gonna have a bit of waste, like I said. Um, yeah, I should have put my iron in first. Oh well. Mm. That's not gonna give me anything, is it? We'll heat up fast, and maybe I'll get enough um, aluminum out of that, or enough um, material out of that. Ow, ow, oh, awesome. Okay, so you can't stand in that anymore. That's great. That was the one of the things that bugged me a bit. Okay, not enough aluminum. Although I think you see more, I think you're able to see more in this thing now, or whatever. Um, gonna lose that aluminum brat. No, I don't want to do that. It really feels like a waste. I have enough to make another cast mold, which means I can. I have so one aluminum brass ingot should mean that I can make um, one more. Uh, ingot cast. Uh, and that's what I want, and I want to toss iron in here too. So let's, let's let me melt that up. Let's let that, blah, blah, blah. Let's let that melt. Um, I'm going to have a mixture of copper, iron, and whatnot in there, but the iron and copper should not mix. Should. Get that iron melting. And come on. No. Apparently not enough. Or it's trying to do something. Oh. I have one ingot of aluminum. That's too much copper to make it worth my while. Well, let's waste the copper. Or waste the, uh, 
whatever we just poured out. We can get more. It's Minecraft. It's effectively infinite. Yeah. But... And... Four. That should give us another cast. And that iron should cook up shortly. That was a waste. Uh, it was a slight waste. Because I do want multiple ingot casts. Like I said. And... Get a couple of pieces of iron, four shears, and it's almost sunset, which will make this perfect. Duh, shears. And we'll go harass some sheep. And then we'll have a bed and a place to sleep, and we'll be able to make up some more different tools. Uh, the sheep are just over there. More chickens. Oh, if you noticed, I had a fenced off area on by my ooh, base. I'm not able to turn very well. Oh, uh, by my base. And that was for chickens, which I haven't quite yet been able to uh, get a, an egg hatch from. I thought you dropped an egg nearby. Interesting. Now oh, there's an egg. One of these days I'll get an egg. Oh, hope you guys didn't hear that. How's my burp? There we go. Sheep. And I need more wood. Let's just head up there here into this biome. Um actually I'm not sure what biome this is. What type of biome is this? I think it's a rainforest, because I got an achievement when I went over here before, looking for, uh, uh, where is it? Rainforest. Yeah, so this is some type of rainforest tree. And I just need its logs. I'm not going to make it pretty just yet. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make it pretty just yet. Is that a different sapling? No, it's just an oak sapling. Okay, that's fine. Do, do oak trees grow in the rainforest? I don't know. Hmm. Uh, so let's just head out to our smeltery. Gonna put the bed down there. And from that, we'll be able to make uh, a new and. Ah! Damn it. Skeleton. Ow. Okay. Ow. Die. Fall. Die, die, die. I don't have any armor, so. Ooh this um so in a future in a future version of tinker's construct they said they th they said m dial has indicated that he may be adding in ways to make armor which is great uh cuz i'd like that get a little bit of armor out of that instead of just what Pins. There we go. That should give us a little bit of a more protected area. I'd like to clean this up, put in some other type of um, lighting, because uh, there are other types of lighting. Get some mushrooms in me. Close enough. Eh. Ooh, what the? Um. Apparently, you can put mushroom stew. What the hell? <laughs> How do I get that out of there? Okay, now I have a bucket of mushroom soup. Can I just pour that on the... Oh, wow. Okay, there's... <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Um... Oh, that's funny. So you can now have buckets of mushroom soup. I did not. I did not expect that. Okay. That's funny. Um, what was I doing? I don't remember what I was doing other than wasting materials. Um, okay. Well, since I don't know what I'm doing, uh, I want to thank you very much for watching. Please give us a like because it really does help us out. Uh, gets us more viewers. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. This is Mobis Rex for the Mobis Archives, 
Have a good day and a wonderful night. Bye-bye.